Aston Martin seems to be on the verge of a breakdown and this time it's not Lance Stroll that's majorly at fault for what's going on in the team. The technical development has taken an abrupt turn in the wrong direction and the upgrades that the team actually brought to Austin and wanted to explore further in Mexico turned out to be downgrades in disguise. Dan Fallows has been put under a lot of scrutiny by F1 experts and Fernando Alonso has delivered his earth-shattering verdict about where the team is located right now. And we can't help but wonder, is this the start of the breakdown of Aston Martin after recent statements from Helmut Marco have indicated that not everything is shining in the team that poached the ex-chief of aerodynamics in Red Bull? It goes without saying that one of the most negative surprises in the second half of 2023 is Aston Martin, especially in the last 11 races. If we may be precise, in the first eight venues, Alonso was able to gather six podium finishes and fight for second place in the Drivers' Championship. But in the last 11, there was only one podium in Zandvoort. And the two-time world champion has also failed to enter Q3 in the last two races in Mexico and Austin. On top of that, he's also failed to finish these two two races after actually starting the Austin one from the pits along with his teammate Lance Stroll who finished ninth in the end and was promoted to seventh due to Hamilton and Leclerc's disqualifications. Nonetheless, Aston Martin has entered a downward spiral and from a team that used to fight with Mercedes and Ferrari up front, they've lost the battle for P4 to McLaren and are now solidified at fifth place in the Constructors' Championship. Fernando Alonso is not happy with where this entire situation is going and if there's one thing that the Spaniard hates the most, it's being in a team that can't deliver the right results after binging on their promises in the first half of the season. When talking about where the situation currently stands with Aston Martin, in after the Mexico GP, Alonso didn't hold back on words as he went on to say, Honestly, we are not fighting for anything. We will learn, even if we have to start from the pit lane, and that is more useful than just spending the weekend with a poor setup. In the Constructors' Championship, we are locked in the position we are. In the Drivers' Championship, we will lose a couple of places. It is incredible that we are in front of the Ferraris or George or Lando or whatever, but we will lose those positions. They have a very fast car, and yet, let's see what we can do. The truth is that it has been difficult. We have been a bit slow all weekend in all the sessions we have suffered, so it was no surprise to suffer and fall behind in the time trial. Yesterday we spun in the fast corners, today we spun again in the first sector. The car is always on the edge of losing it, so we have a lot of complications. It seems like the volatility in the first half of the grid has enabled Alonso to keep up his third spot in the Drivers' Championship for quite some time, but now that seat is under massive threat, and just like he said, it's very likely that it's going to be lost in the upcoming races. To top that off, his teammate Lance Stroll has been driving exactly like you would expect the son of the owner to drive, and there is nothing much that Aston Martin can do at this point other than see their fortunes go down in the last three venues of the 2023 season. Season. However, is this something that will continue in 2024 as well? And if so, who would be the main factor that the team would have to look to in order to prevent such a thing from happening? According to Ralph Schumacher, a former F1 driver, Dan Fallows' expertise can only take you so far. And when he's transferred his knowledge from Red Bull, it was to be expected that Aston Martin would have performed on the level they did. But when the time came for introducing new upgrades and bringing more or less a new version of the car, Dan Fallows struggled massively with his team and that's what resulted in Alonso and Stroll struggling so much in the second half of the season. Elaborating further on this, Ralph Schumacher said, I hope they find their form again. After Mexico, we'll certainly know more. What if Fallows was able to bring a lot of Red Bull's know-how to the car this year, but now he's struggling more because he can no longer base it on the developments at his former team? This is a rumour that has been circulating all around the paddock and it's not just Ralph Schumacher who believes it, as many fans have pointed out about this flaw on social media platforms. The struggle is real, the problem is evident and to top that off, Lawrence Stroll is currently battling to be the leader of the team in the foreseeable future as another rumour states that the investors of the team are not happy with the father-son relationship between him and Lance and that with the young Canadian driver in the team, it's not possible to achieve anything thing that they were promised at the beginning of their investment era. 
What adds salt to the wound for Lawrence is the fact that now he no longer has the technical development promises to give to the investors of the team, as Alonso is visibly struggling and the team has lost so many points and is effectively in fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. But it doesn't end here. Ralf Schumacher has questioned whether or not Fernando Alonso will be able to keep up his promise and stay at Aston Martin after having such positive thoughts at the beginning of the season. As he continued... How long will Fernando Alonso keep quiet? He's known for his ambition, which can quickly escalate into a bad mood when things don't go his way. The direction that Aston Martin has taken in the last few races is definitely proving to be the wrong one. And according to Helmut Marco, this has the potential to throw the team off the right development path, just like it did for Mercedes, and put more pressure on its drivers to require more performance from the car, but receive nothing in return. When talking about this, the Austrian veteran said, you have to know as early as possible in the season what direction you're going for next year. If you make a mistake, you could be in for a rude awakening at the start of the new season. And the worst part of it is that there's a possibility that this rude awakening in Aston Martin won't be awaited from Fernando Alonso, as the Spaniard has been linked to a shocking move to Red Bull in the off-season. There is this opportunity that allows Red Bull to make a swap with Aston Martin, give Perez back the seat that he was bought out from in 2020, and bring back Alonso to ensure that nothing will ever stop the march to a solidified domination until 2026. Yeah, it's a wild guess, don't get me wrong. Wrong. I'm not advising it will happen. I'm just sharing the rumour that has been massively spreading after the Mexico GP because it makes sense for both sides to apply for such a shocking development of events. After all, Red Bull won't leave Sergio Perez on a thread and will provide him with a racing seat and Fernando Alonso will make sure that there will be no worries about Red Bull's dominance regardless of what progress has been made in Ferrari, McLaren and Mercedes. If this happens, then there is no reason for Lawrence Stroll to keep up the team after all because he would be back to the driver's lineup he had in 2020. And that is definitely not his goal, even though the weaker link in the team was always his son. If Fernando decides to leave the team, then it's safe to assume that the sale of Aston Martin will be more or less a guaranteed bet. And after all of the statements from Alonso and all of the disappointment that he's had to suffer through in the second half of the season after starting on the high horse, we couldn't help but wonder is this the start of the downfall for Aston Martin? Of course, this is a bit of a far-fetched scenario right now, but if the struggles for Aston Martin continue in the next three races, and this is more or less the car that they will have as a foundation to build on for next season, we might not be that far away from a spectacle and a massive shake-up in the driver's lineup after all. Do you think that Red Bull will go for this move and sign Alonso to partner up with Max Verstappen, even though it means that the team will have two alpha males in their starting lineup and things could lead to excavations more often than not. Let us know in the comments below.